Hello again, people. We have to fix something today. You see my washing machine down here, and that's a Samsung WF1702N hash W. It's developing a very strange symptom. At the end of the cycle, when it runs on spin, it's just getting stuck with an E4 error code so looking into the manual i found that e4 means something related to water doesn't get water anymore so what i'm trying to do today is to find what's happening you see the water hose is there it's disconnected now of course the first step is to check if we have any water or if we have pressure into the pipe oh it's plenty plenty of pressure plenty of water pressure there so no doubt that shouldn't be a problem next you know let's follow the water the water is coming in here obviously and we have a let's check the filter well it doesn't look too bad but i'm gonna clean that sorry but there's nothing to clean in here it's looking good then here we have two electric valves i got to check these guys how can we do that one is going from one of the stages and the other one is going from, oh yeah softener in uh, in fact okay so let me let me open this oh by the way to take out the up top cover is very simple it's just two screws behind here and you just lift it and it's out that should go out probably i need to take this out first go i don't see a problem here oh no look there okay so i believe we have a problem it's a lot of calcium or how we call it already in the system so yes probably it's locked this is detergent which is kind of stuck okay that should go out the other way see you have to push these guys here or maybe I can okay I have a screw in front let me open this up right here it's a screw what else is there any other one maybe here yeah there is another one another one right there okay so we got two screws we got we have to get rid of those before having this box out of the way ah, okay there we go we are in the business now i can effectively taking the top out hopefully all right there we go another one here and huh, I think I found the problem it's clogged with calcium okay next we'll clean those fingies in here it's not so bad that's from detergent and some other stuffs kind of residues we'll clean of course those things later but for now let's do this and as long as i'm here i'm gonna have the valves also to be cleaned and checked can we open this i don't know okay i got a small filter in here okay oh there's another filter inside there all right that needs to be checked also okay 
let's move this is the let's call it dispenser which is looking like it's really 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 clogged what we can do here do we have another layer no so the single thing i can do is to try to clean this out how i don't know mechanically probably and then i have some acids especially for cleaning okay so this goes here and this goes to the main one which is kind of better but i don't like the one this one it's really really is it clogged or something or does the way it have to be do we got any filters no this top i can't get it out of course not it's still not enough why let's see maybe that's the way it have to be now i'm pretty sure here is pretty clean nothing to do anymore i'll have some acid anyway or anti calc in fact it's not an acid oh this is plenty of no problem also pretty okay now let me check these guys and we have a small juice here and i believe this one goes to this hose for a softener and i have another filter in here that was pretty clean yes it is uh, i can see some small pieces of something in there i have to check those too you know i was hoping to be able to open this but i can't it's okay that's fine no i can't open these guys you know the old stuffs years ago this uh, was kind of screwed but not anymore so far we are stuck in this situation is this filter in here doing anything special see it's stuck there i'm afraid i can't do anything oh or maybe i can no but that doesn't help the coils are just getting out nice but what's the use of it nothing this is tied in here glued and then don't want to open anything because then we have leaks and all that okay okay so this is a special compound a special kind of um, anti-calc and i recall it's kind of phosphor acid or something like that oh you can hear the it's working already it's not dangerous so all you have to do is not to drop it in your eyes <laughs> i can hear the sound let me have some in here too that's it i just let it run for a few minutes that should be enough i don't see any problem with the electric valves let me put them back. Oh, we can, of course, we can do that later. Now, let me clean this guy here. Maybe I should take this out for a proper. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, 
it's pretty cropped and the, the rubber thingy also look here deniers okay let's go and clean this okay this is like new i may say so let's put it back in here it should be fine Now I can have the top raise it before because this is pretty acid. Oh yeah, much better. Very simple. Let me attach this to the main body. Screws those two in the front. The dispenser. Let's call it the dispenser, it's back in place. Now I have to attach the, the water pipes. This in place. Be sure you are disconnected from the mains. It, this is not a joke here. I mean it. Okay, we have another screws here on the top. Okay. And let's have some tests. It's the first time when this guy it's open in 13 years. I just checked. This is a 13 years old washing machine, which did a great job. By the way. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this filter. Okay, why not? Water connection. This machine is using only cold water. You don't have to tie this too much because it's uh, safe. So the water it's there and that's output. The sewer go there. It should be fine. Let's turn the water on. This one is kind of stuck, but fine. No leaking. Okay. Looking good for now. Yeah, that's the positioning because it's very well balanced. Uh, let's have some power. Let's have some tests. Okay. Power on. Oh, it's dirty. Let's go to rinse and spin. Okay, and of course. Yeah, yeah. Very good habit there. Okay, let's wait. So now it's open. Let's put it into the mains again. Uh, power on. Okay, the first program should be fine. Let's see about the water and all the other stuffs. There we go. Yeah, it's exactly what I was looking for. You see? There. It's pretty okay. That should be nice. Okay. Job done, people. Yeah, it's working. We'll see in time if it's working or not, you know, how long it lasts. But anyway, that's it for today. Like usually, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Push the like button. Thanks to my sponsors. And the most important thing, don't forget, have fun. See you. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.